In today's video, we're going to take a little field trip. My husband and I did the half marathon in Defusky Island, South Carolina. We stayed in the Sandy Lane condos, and those are located on the part of the island that is close to Bloody Point. We had a gorgeous view of the beach whenever we woke up in the morning, so we got to enjoy our coffee looking out at the water. And when it was time to go, we hopped on the golf cart, bundled up because it was cold outside, and headed over to Hay Point where the race was starting. We got there just in time to see the full marathoners get started on their race. The full marathon started at 8.30, and we were doing the half marathon that started at 9.30. Even though it was 48 degrees outside and quite windy, which made for a very chilly day if you're just hanging out. When you start running, especially when you start running a long distance like 13.1 miles or 26.2 miles, you're going to warm up. It's pretty much guaranteed. Which is why you'll see a couple of guys not wearing shirts. At first we thought they were crazy, but then it made sense as the race went on. One of the things I love about the difference between the half marathon and the full marathon with this race is that it is a two loop course, meaning the first loop is the half marathon. And if you do the second loop, then it is a full marathon. So if you get to the point where you know you're not gonna be able to do a full marathon, you can drop down to the half. And since I haven't done a full marathon yet, I love this option. Here is the covered heated tent area where they had food and drinks and places for us to keep as warm as we could before the race, so that was really nice. Do we look cold? Because right now we're really cold. This was not our first trip to Defusky Island. We actually fell in love with it in 2023 whenever we went up to visit and just absolutely became obsessed with this place. So we had to come back and try the half marathon race. However, this was our first time checking out Hague Point, which was really a cool, beautiful, beautiful place. And I think for future races, we're actually going to stay in Hague Point next time. And although the temperature wasn't high, the energy certainly was. There are a lot of people stretching, taking pictures, getting ready to make this happen. After the national anthem, everyone started gathering to the start line. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. At that point, it was time to hunker down and start running. But I did slow down a few times to get some shots of what it's like to do the race itself. There were a lot of signs out, but this had to have been my favorite. I had to slow down and get a shot of this. And it looks like these guys really wanted to run with us, but since they couldn't, they were having to improvise. But one of the things that we love about this race so much was that the island, the only traffic on the island mostly is from golf carts and there are some vehicles but those belong to the locals and they're few and far between and since this island is very remote there weren't many water stops so next time moving forward i will definitely bring my own water to carry and they did suggest that in the emails i just had to learn the hard way but as you can see there was different roads different scenery pavement dirt gravel beach bridges so much to look at and take in on this beautiful course. And there were photographers along the course and the pictures were available for free download. You didn't have to pay for them. That was a fantastic bonus. And what better way to finish out the course than looking at the ocean before you cross the finish line.
After the race was over, everybody congregated back to that main part where there was a full meal, there was drinks, there was bananas, that you got medals, there was someone that would engrave your time and name on your medal for free. This was an incredible experience and we will definitely be going back to do this. Even if you don't run, consider checking out Nefusky Island. It is one of the coolest places we have ever been. And if you do run, this is a fabulous destination race. See you next time.